Jezebel is recognized as one of the most evil, cunning, and manipulative figures in the Bible. This wicked queen of Israel used her power for evil, reinstating the worship of foreign idols and murdering God's prophets. Although she has long been forgotten by many, her spirit still exists today and can manifest in the behaviors or actions of people around us. Learning how to recognize these characteristics and how to guard against those who exhibit them is crucial for our lives as Christians. So, in today's video, we will delve into the spirit of Jezebel, starting with her story in the Bible and moving on to define what her spirit entails. The crucial part arrives at the conclusion, where we will guide you through recognizing the signs of this spirit. Be sure to stay with us to the end of the video to learn these vital insights. First of all, who was Jezebel? The Bible paints a vivid picture for us. In the 38th year of Asa king of Judah, Ahab, the son of Omri, became king over Israel, and he reigned in Samaria over Israel 22 years. Ahab, son of Omri, did more evil in the eyes of the Lord than any of those before him. He not only considered it trivial to commit the sins of Jeroboam, son of Naboth, but he also married Jezebel, daughter of Ethbal, king of the Sidonians, and began to serve Baal and worship him. While Jezebel was killing off the Lord's prophets, Obadiah had taken a hundred prophets and hidden them in two caves, fifty in each, and had supplied them with food and water. From these passages, we learn that Jezebel ascended to the throne alongside King Ahab during a period of political uncertainty in Israel. Furthermore, the passages reveal that she worshipped foreign idols, reintroduced them to Israel, and orchestrated the large-scale persecution and murder of many of Jehovah's prophets. Although there was one prophet Jezebel couldn't reach, Elijah. He exposed the false gods through a contest between Baal and Yahweh, demonstrating to all onlookers that the God of Israel is the only true God. Despite having the opportunity to repent after this event, Jezebel chose to continue walking in darkness. Elijah prophesied her fate. Jezebel was thrown from her window by her own servants and subsequently trampled by horses. This brutal end came only after she had inflicted significant harm. In a similar vein, the Jezebel spirit persistently brings destruction to those it encounters. Let's explore what the spirit of Jezebel truly represents. Its primary goal is to undermine God's work and his followers. This spirit acts as a tempter and seducer, luring people away from God with the intention of shattering their faith, their hope, joy, and peace. You might have encountered someone like this in your life, someone who is always seducing and leading others into trouble. And how can we truly recognize when the spirit of Jezebel is at work? I believe this spirit exhibits numerous characteristics, and I want to highlight the most evident ones. This will enable you to identify and remain vigilant against this spirit should you encounter it. One of Jezebel's most defining traits was her controlling nature. This is evident from how she dominated her husband and influenced her nation's religious practices. She used her power to further her own agendas, often disregarding the welfare of others. The Jezebel spirit is a menacing presence that seeks to dominate and manipulate others. However, it's important to differentiate this characteristic from the authority bestowed by God. God grants each individual the authority to make decisions, lead, guide, rebuke, and so forth. Being controlling, on the other hand, means imposing one's will on others so that they behave, act, or think in ways that solely benefit the controller and their plans. Nowhere in the Bible does it state that God or the Holy Spirit controlled anyone. Instead, the Holy Spirit works to gently convict and discipline us, guiding rather than coercing. It is the devil who seeks to control, aiming to dominate our wills to serve his evil agenda. In contrast, the Lord invites us to make a decision, to choose to love him and yield to him willingly. This is achieved through the conviction brought by the Holy Spirit. 
Another trait of the Jezebel spirit is its tendency to rule through fear. Jezebel instilled fear in people's hearts by murdering anyone who opposed her. She even threatened to kill Elijah, which caused him to flee in fear. However, it is only Satan that employs fear as a tool. Paul reminds, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. This is a clear indicator of a spirit's origin. Any spirit that uses fear to control us is not from God. You might wonder why Jezebel was so successful in getting her way. It boils down to two key traits. First, she was a master manipulator, skillfully orchestrating events, people, and circumstances to achieve her goals. Manipulation can occur through words, ideas, thoughts, guilt, or even seduction. That brings us to her second characteristic, seduction. The Jezebel spirit uses seduction to divert people from the paths of righteousness. Importantly, seduction isn't limited to sexual allure. The allure of money, power, and fame can be just as seductive, compelling people to extreme actions. Another crucial trait of the Jezebel spirit is its disregard for and hostility toward authority. In Jezebel's view, as queen, she wielded complete authority and showed no regard for Elijah the prophet or any of God's followers. Even after Elijah demonstrated God's power and sovereignty, she remained unyielding and unrepentant. This leads us to the final characteristic of this spirit, its refusal to repent for its actions. The Jezebel spirit is fully aware of the havoc and destruction it causes. Its primary method is to dismantle holy and pure institutions and relationships. Satan delights in corrupting what is good, often using seduction, manipulation, and division as his primary tools. This spirit is still evident today. Aren't there such people in our churches, in our families and communities? Be vigilant against them, for they may even challenge God's authority itself. While Jezebel often got what she wanted through manipulation, scheming, deceit, and control, ultimately, she could not avoid her demise, which resulted from her defiance against God. The spirit of Jezebel is potent, but the spirit of our God is mightier and will prevail over all evil. As Christians, we should distance ourselves from those who embody the Jezebel spirit. As Paul instructs in his first letter to the Corinthians, But now I have written to you not to keep company with anyone named a brother who is sexually immoral or covetous or an idolater or a reviler or a drunkard or an extortioner, not even to eat with such a person. Paul's directive is clear. We should not associate with those who are firmly committed to their sinful ways. If they are repentant and open to change, the situation is different. However, if they are obstinate like Jezebel, and not even fire raining down from heaven won't change their minds or hearts, we should not associate with them. If you are guided by the Holy Spirit, you will be able to identify the traits of the Jezebel spirit and understand how to handle those under its influence. Pray and seek guidance from God. We must not let anyone lead us away from God. Therefore, distance yourself from those who embody the spirit of Jezebel. Commit yourself to righteousness. Be mindful of your own influence. Be mindful of the influence of those around you. And ask yourself, are they truly leading you towards God? Thank you very much for joining us today. Please share this video with your loved ones. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. May God bless every step of your journey. Until next time.